Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. We're going to look at autosave in Premiere Pro because there's an update that might change things for you. All right, everyone knows they have to save a project or you lose all your changes. Premiere Pro has a smart way of auto saving in the background. And I'll show you how you can save to uh, your Creative Cloud account. Now the update that uh, Adobe put out for the current version will actually auto save your current open version. And the reason that that could be an issue and was an issue with me is if I have something open, if I have a project or a document open and I don't want any changes saved, I just close the document, don't save. That's a typical way to work. But if you turn on this new setting, any auto save that happens is auto saving the document, not auto saving a separate file. I'm sure this will make sense in a second. Let's have a look. Here I've got my Premiere Pro sequence with my wonderful artless music and it's playing against some of this wonderful footage. In the edit menu on Windows, the Premiere Pro menu on the Mac, preferences, auto save. I purposely set this to a lower amount. I have this on three minutes just so I could force it to save a lot of versions. But let's look at this, all of these settings automatically save projects. So this is automatically saving backup projects in the background. And you'll notice every now and, and again, Premiere Pro will have a little dialog box pop up where it's saving, saving, and it tries to do it when you're not doing stuff. Sometimes it does it while you're doing stuff, but anyway, it saves. So you can set this automatically to save however many minutes. You can also keep a maximum number of these projects and 20 is the default, you can turn this up. Auto saving these projects, one of the biggest benefits is if your project, your main project that you're saving um, gets corrupt or has a problem, uh, you can at least go back to a previously saved version. What I have found is that the automatically saved projects only save if you're changing things. So. When I set this project up for this tutorial, I didn't touch anything for 30 minutes and there were no background auto saves until I changed something in the project and then it initiated a save in three minutes after I made that change. If I don't make another change, there's nothing to change. So there's no reason to change. Because if you think about this, if it did save every three minutes, regardless of what you did, then you'd have 20 projects that are exactly the same. Makes no sense. You want 20 projects, each one with the last amount of changes, uh, and in my case, every three minutes. There's also a great option here to save the backup project to Creative Cloud. And I'll show you where that is. This you should turn on because projects are relatively small. Uh, you're not backing up the media. So if you lose your media, you're toast, but it's the project where all your edits are that's important. So they get backed up to the cloud. Here's the new setting that's tripped me up. Autosave also saves the current project and it says projects. So it's in parentheses because in Premiere Pro now, you can have multiple projects open. And for me, I found this a little dangerous because I was away from my computer and I came back and I closed the project because when I'm making stuff for, for Video Revealed, I create a template that I'm gonna use for my tutorial. Um, and then I sometimes open that and experiment with some things and then I close it because I wanted to go back to my template. Well, with this setting on, all my experimenting was getting saved in the project. So I would open it up and realize, yikes, I didn't mean to do that. So for me, I'm turning it off. For you, you might just want everything always saved. So for you, you can turn it on. So I'm gonna leave mine off and click OK. Now, one important thing to remember, and this was updated um, a short while ago, is that incremental time, so in my case, three minutes, it resets itself when you manually auto save. In, in older versions, that number had nothing to do with what you were saving currently. So now, if you're not doing anything, if you're editing, it's auto saving those auto backups every however many minutes, three minutes in my case. 
If I've waited two minutes and there's one more minute before it's going to save, but I manually save, that number gets reset back to zero. So manually save, oh, it's not gonna do anything for another three minutes. So that's also part of the update. And I wanna show you two folders. So this is the project that I created. So I created a project called autosave and a folder called autosave and a project called autosave. So Premiere Pro doesn't name it autosave. I, maybe I should have called it something different. Anyway, I called this project autosave. In this folder, Premiere Pro makes another folder. And I want to stress the point that this is one of the reasons why you don't put stuff on your desktop. And I've actually seen this, somebody where they just throw their Premiere Pro project on their desktop. Well, guess what Premiere Pro will do? It'll create an autosave folder and throw everything in there. Create a project folder and then put your project in the folder. Premiere Pro will put the autosave in that folder. And that's what you're seeing here. And I've got that opened up here. And I've, I've got this time showing where they've been created. So you can see that between 8.51, yes, I was up early doing this tutorial, at 8.51 to 9.15, there was nothing changed between that time. As soon as I started to mess around with this, it started to save these changes, which I'll go back and I'll probably set that to, you know, five or 10 minutes. But every single time I'm making changes, it's updating that for me. But if I close this project right now, if I've made changes, Premiere Pro will ask me if I wanna save the changes because I haven't saved the project. If you click on that preference and you close the project, whatever the last save was within the last five, uh, three minutes in my case, it would have saved that. Now let's go open up Creative Cloud desktop application. And if we look at files, you'll see two options here, open folder and view on web. I'll open the folder. And down here is Premiere Pro, open that up. And you can see I've got auto saves all the way back to version eight. This is the current version. There's my auto saves. And there's every auto save that I've done. If you've been watching my, my tutorials over the last little while, you'll see familiar names in there. If we go to the web, it's the same thing. These are the synced files in the file section. And there is Premiere Pro right there. There's version 13, there's auto save, and there's all the auto saved versions in there. All right, so there you go. There's auto saving locally, auto saving to the cloud, and use that new auto save current projects if that makes sense for you. It doesn't for me, but it might for you. At no time you're, are you ever going to say, um, boy, I'm glad I don't have auto save versions. Just save them one day you really, really might need them. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, please take a moment and subscribe. If you want to support us some more, hey, you can do that through PayPal. We love our PayPal donors. There's a link in the description and one on the front of the channel. We make lots of goodies available for our PayPal donors. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and I'm here to make sure you're auto-saving the right way.